my dear students in this video we will discuss how to insert an element after a given element in a single linked list let us see the operation of inserting an element after a given element in a single linked list fine let us consider key as the element after which we have to make an insertion so key is the element after which we have to make the insertion in the single linked list yes let us consider item as the element to be inserted after key meaning in the single linked list we have to search for key after key we have to insert item very good there are three possible cases as follows case 1 when start is equal to null meaning there is no linked list when there is no linked list there is no possibility of finding key in the linked list therefore no insertion possible so there is no linked list and hence key cannot be found in the list beautiful if the key is found in the first node yes if suppose the key is found in the first node of the linked list only so it there are two cases when the linked list contains only one node and that node only contains key or the linked list contains many nodes and key is found in the first node so yes key is found here in the first node key is found in the first node so if the key is found in the first node we have taken two cases when there is only one node and that node only contains key or the linked list contains many nodes and the first node contains key this is second case case 3 if the key is found anywhere after the first node meaning key is not found in the first node it is found after the first node yes let us consider this linked list yes so key is key may be found at 20 or 30 or 40 or 50 so after the key element we have to insert item i think this is case three cases see you should be very clear with these three cases because the whole logic depends on the cases we will discuss all the cases uh, separately now first case when start is equal to null this is the easiest of the case there is no single linked list and hence key cannot be found in the list that's all simple next case two if the key is found in the first node yes let us assume key is equal to 10 and item is equal to 90 meaning we have to search for 10 in the linked list and here when the key is found in the first node 10 only should be there in the first node after 10 we have to insert 90 let us consider the linked list yes when there is only one node when there are many nodes and also you can just see key is 10 it is found in the first node in both the cases it is found in the first node now we have to insert 90 after 10 so how to insert 90 what is the first thing that we have to do yes, i think this is uh, clear start of info is equal to key yes start of info is also 10 key is also 10 both are 10 therefore uh, if start of info is equal to key so what is the first thing that we have to do get a new node which is pointed by p yes get a new node which is pointed by p then insert item into that node and also for getting the new node yes you know p is equal to struct node star melod size of struct node yes now put item into this node yes p of info is equal to item now what we will do is p of next is equal to start of next you can just see the second one specially see p of next should contain the address of 20 but right now who is containing the address of the node 20 start of next therefore p of next is equal to start of next even in the first case also start of next is null p of next should contain null therefore p of next is equal to start of next yes yes p of next is equal to start of next very good now start of next is equal to what start of next is equal to p yes start of next is equal to p yes start of next is equal to p now you can just see the connection is established in the first case after 10 90 is inserted in this case in between 10 and 20 
90 is inserted. Yes, dot of next is equal to P. Yes. And then return start. That's all. The logic is very simple. So when the key is found in the first node, the logic is quite simple. In both the cases, whenever the linked list contains only one node and that contains key, or the linked list contains many nodes and the first node contains key, I think this logic is quite simple. Now, let us discuss case 3. If the key is found anywhere after the first node. Let us assume key is equal to 30 and item is equal to 90. Meaning, we have to search for 30 in the linked list. After 30, we have to insert 90. Yes, this is our linked list. So, 5 elements are there. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay. Now, temp is equal to start. So, we will have a temporary pointer. Now we have to search for key in the list. So we have to search for key in the list. For that you know the logic. What is the while loop? Temp of info should not be equal to key and temp should not be equal to null. If both the cases are true, temp is equal to temp of next. You should traverse. While temp of info not equal to key and temp not equal to null, temp is equal to temp of next. Let, let us do that, uh, that while loop now. Temp is containing the address of the node 10. Temp of info, is it equal to key? No. Temp of info is 10, key is equal to 30, and temp not equal to null. So both the conditions are true. Therefore, temp is equal to temp of next. Yes. Now, temp is containing the address of the node 20. What is temp of info? 20. Key is 30. Temp is not equal to null. Therefore, both the conditions are true. Temp of info not equal to key, and temp not equal to null. Both the conditions are true. Therefore, temp is equal to temp of next. Yes. But now carefully understand what is temp of info? 30. What is key? 30. Meaning temp of info becomes equal to key, therefore come out of the while loop. Yes, we come out of the while loop. See, when we come out of the while loop with temp of info equal to key, it means we have found key in the linked list. Suppose if we come out of the while loop with temp equal to null, it means key was not found in the linked list. Therefore, if temp is equal to null, when you come out of the while loop, if temp is equal to null, printf insertion is not possible as key is not found. Else, what we have to do? We have to insert 90 after 30. So, to insert 90 after 30, we have to get a new node which is pointed by P. Very good. And put info into this new node. There is 90. It should be inserted into this new node. Yes, that, that uh, thing. So 90 P of uh, info is equal to item. Yes. Now carefully understand. P of next should contain the address of the node 40. Right now who is containing the address of the node 40? Temp of next is containing the address of the node 40. Therefore P of next should contain temp of next. That is P of next is equal to temp of next. P of next is equal to temp of next. Yes, P of next is equal to temp of next. Next, temp of next should contain what? Temp of next, right now it is containing the address of the node 40. Temp of next should contain the address of the node 90. Therefore, temp of next is equal to P. Temp of next is equal to P. Very good. Now you can just see 90 is inserted after 30. That is in between 30 and 40. 90 is properly ins inserted. Return start. That's all the logic. So first search for the key. When the key is found, after key you make an insertion. Suppose if the key is not found, then say insertion is not possible. I think all the three cases are quite simple, quite straightforward. Now, straight away we will go to the function. The name of the function is insert after. Okay, struct node star start, int key and int item. Key is the element after which we have to make an insertion. Item is the element that we have to insert. Now, Start is equal to null. Yes, there is no linked list. List is empty. Start of info is equal to key. It means the key is found in the first node. Yes, we discussed this. This is case 2. Yes, this is case 2. This is case 3. Temp is equal to start. We have to search for key. So what is the while loop? While temp of info not equal to key and temp not equal to null, temp is equal to temp of next. So when you come out of the while loop, if temp is equal to null, insertion is not possible. Yes. Otherwise, temp is containing the address of the key. 
After temp, we have to make an insertion. Therefore, create a new node, put item into this new node. Then p of next is equal to temp of next. Temp of next is equal to p, return start. That's all the logic. That's all the function. I think if you understand all the three cases, uh, the logic of inserting an element after a given element is quite simple, quite straightforward.